Hello Wet Shavers! Welcome to the Soap Thing Project. If you are new to the project, I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button. And for today's shave, we're going to use 345 Soap Company, Strawberry Snot, and this is uh, exactly what it looks like. It's strawberry kiwi scented soap. It is, I do believe it's $16.95, $16.95 for 5.8 ounces. It is a tallow based soap. I did not pay for this. This and the aftershave was a gift for my birthday on July 23rd from my beautiful wife Christina. So thank you for that, Christina. The aftershave she got me was the Banana Rama. And this is a beautiful banana scented aftershave balm. It's kind of it's got kind of a crisp facet to it but banana scented nonetheless so a crisp crispy kind of banana that's the, <laughs> the best I can describe it the razor is going to be one last shave with the razor rock mamba 70 with the bulldog handle before we move on to other razors and it currently has a second use feather blade in it so we had a really good uh, shave with that exact blade on the uh, on the last shaving video so we're good this is the second use for that that blade so we're gonna see if we can replicate the same success and for the brush we're gonna use the Phoenix shaving green ray 24 millimeter synthetic so let's get all this together and let's have a shave okay here we have the soap in the bottom of the bowl here is what the pour looks like the indentation that you see there is just from me putting the first uh, little bit of soap in the bottom of the bowl. So I have never used a 345 soap company before. So we're going to see how it lathers. We got the brush and we have the spray bottle. So here we go. Right off the bat, I'm going to start out with eight sprays of water. And we'll see what that does for us. Right off the bat, it's looking a little sudsy, but I'm going to try to uh, just stick it out without adding any more, any more water to see if it'll thicken up a little bit. When it's really, really sudsy, that's usually an indicator of, uh, of too much water. But I think this one should be okay. This uh, Phoenix Shaving Green Ray, the knot on the uh, brush is set such that it'll splay quite willingly so if you're into that sort of thing you might consider picking one of those up it's uh, definitely low low on backbone but you don't necessarily need a ton of backbone high backbone will whip up a lather quick and easy but you can still still get a good lather going without it okay uh, let me see um, a little bit more water I just want to see what it'll do. I probably could have gotten away with, with the uh, lather I had, but I just want to see what else I can get. One of the things that having limited uh, or low backbone will do is that it doesn't scrape the excess soap out of the bottom of the bowl. So, yeah, I can see there's still a bit in the bottom of the bowl, but nonetheless, I don't know, that might be <laughs> enough to do a shave. Hopefully it's enough, what do you think? All right, let's get all this together and let's do the shave. Okay, I got two days growth on the face today. Let's have a smell. 345 
Strawberry Snot. Scent strength for this is a resounding three out of three, so high scent strength. We'll talk about the scent profile a little bit more in a second, but we're gonna wet the face. And apply some Phoenix Shaving Ice Cube to the face. Pre-shave. This is going to perhaps boost the lather a little bit. Maybe provide some more slickness. One thing I know it's going to do is mentholate the shave. So, <clears throat> add a little bit of menthol cooling to the shaving experience today. Hope everybody is doing well, having great shaves. <clears throat> I've reached the point where I have a I have enough subscribers that I figured I'd ask the question should I do giveaways? I'm I'm honestly on the on the fence about it. I got lots of stuff that I could give away. <laughs> no problem at all. Uh But I guess the question I'm asking the audience today is, is that something that I should incorporate into the project? Seems to be what everybody else is doing is giveaways and the like. So if you care to weigh in on that, um, your input is always appreciated. Okay, so Razor Rock Mamba 70 with a second use feather blade. Let's see how we do. First few strokes are feeling pretty good. Slickness and hydration on this is uh, surprisingly good. I think I, oh, if I had to peg this somewhere, it feels kind of in the realm of a, um, oh, like a Rust Belt Reserve from Shannon Soaps. So definitely a high quality lather. The scent is quite the animated sort of scent. That's that's the, the, the term I always use. And basically what that means is that it doesn't smell very real or very authentic. Like this smells like a strawberry kiwi snapple or like a piece of candy. A scent, a strawberry scent that is not animated would kind of have a strawberry, woody, earthy sort of thing. Because a real strawberry, the scent on it, at least for me, is the sum of all its surroundings. So, so it, I would smell some of the... Uh, some of the strawberry and some of the uh, the environment around it. And real fruit smells to me just smell less sweet than uh, than animated scents. I mean this to me Smells like a strawberry sugar bomb. <laughs> it's not horrible. It's just very, very sweet smelling. So if you're not into uh, sweet scents, then you might want to approach this with caution. It's heavily scented enough that I'm going to encourage you to 
proceed with caution if you are somebody who is sensitive to fragrance oils. I don't tend to react very much to fragrance oils. The only one that really gave me a bad reaction was Murphy and McNeil, uh, Murphy and McNeil uh, Ouroboros, I think is how it's uh, supposed to be pronounced. But I put that on my face and it just lit my face on fire. I was like, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> like it was, it was not good. So, and I usually don't react that way to soaps. So there's something in that one specifically that is not doing it for me. But this one has no such issues. This one, this soap, this 345 soap, I'm not gonna lie, leaves uh, just a little bit to be desired in the residual slickness department. Like, uh, let me give this a try. Actually, let me spread this around a little bit. Yeah, it, the residual slickness could be better. It's not horrible. It definitely works. I just gotta chase it with some extra water to kind of kick things into gear again. Well, it does look like I got the tiniest weeper right over there. But it's looking like, for the most part, that the Mamba 70 with this feather blade is a good, good blade uh, combination, good razor and blade combination. This I'm gonna blame on, I don't even know if you can see it, but I'm gonna blame that on uh, just going a little too fast. Like, like, and I have long been aware of the fact that if you're nicking yourself shaving, it's almost certainly you. See what I'm talking about? It's not the tools, it's the operator. You know, you gotta, this is something where you have to, uh, you gotta pay attention. You know, it's not, it's not autopilot quite like uh, cartridge razors are. And if I were using like a Persona Platinum, I probably could have got away with shaving like I am, but no. This is what happens. You get cocky, like I just did, and this stuff happens. So, this is something that you have to focus at. Okay, that's good enough. So, I'm gonna take a styptic pencil and an alum block to this, and we're gonna come back for the aftershave and my final thoughts. Okay, let's see what the Razor Rock Allen Block has to say about this one. <clears throat> All right. No stinging up through here. Ooh. Yeah, I really got myself over there. Down here. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Right here and right there. Uh were some trouble spots today. And again, I blame that all on operator error. 
You can spend all the money in the world on shaving tools, but if your shaving hand just isn't having it that day or you get cocky, you're going to pay for it. It's just how it is. Okay. And it looks like everything else is uh, pretty much good to go. So that'll be the uh, Ellen Block Report card for today's shave. Okay, time for the Bananarama aftershave balm. Let's give this a try. Hmm, interesting. The scent definitely develops more for this one as you apply it to the face. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but it's actually kind of, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not abrasive, but it's got a sticky <laughs> aspect to it where, where normally when I put an aftershave on, my hands just want to glide down my face, but this one, it's just like, <laughs> like my, my fingers want to stick to my face, so... I could care less. It's just something to note. But my final thoughts for 345 Strawberry Snot. If I exhausted this to an empty tub and had the opportunity to buy it for myself, would I do it? Oh, goodness. Yeah, I think so. If only because I don't have a ton of... Uh, summer scents. This is a uh, definitely definitely smells good. That's what it's got going for it. I've just never oh what's the word I'm looking for? I've never been that big on scents that are foody. If that makes any sense, I'm, I think that's I don't know if gourmand is the right term, but but scents where it's just like. If you didn't know any better, you'd try to eat it, <laughs> that kind of stuff. But this this one's good. I uh, Most of my scents in my collection are probably more winter-oriented, so it's nice to have another one that is just like a blast of summer fruitiness. So, yeah. Yeah, this, one, this one's good. I'd buy this. Why not? So, and at... 5.8 ounces is not going anywhere anytime soon. I think that's about as much as they give you if you get like a sterling soap. So you're definitely getting a lot for your money. So those are my final thoughts on 345 uh, Strawberry Snot. <laughs> I cannot say that with a straight face. Strawberry Snot. Oh, all right. I want to thank everybody for watching. And until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. I'll see you next time.